You know, if it were just about President Trump, uh, we would all have caved a long time ago because he is very charming and he's very persuasive. But there are fundamental problems with this bill that even he can't overcome. So, you know, may, I think if if you took the insurance companies out of this and the, and the folks that have been in the swamp for 20 or 30 years and just let Trump work on this with conservatives and moderates here in the House, we could come to a solution. The problem is you got other people at the table that uh, stand to lose money if health insurance prices go down. Who are you blaming specifically? You want to name some? Now you're referring to the speaker. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll blame our leadership here in the House. They have papered over these differences for weeks. They ran this bill through three different committees and cajoled people into not even offering amendments when really this could have been solved in regular order, but it wasn't. They, they swept it under the rug, these differences. And here we are. It's a game of chicken. We're talking about a sixth of our economy, and they want to write the bill in three or four hours and have us vote on it tomorrow. I don't think that's responsible, and that falls on the shoulders of our GOP leadership. Well, I, I assume you're referring to the speaker. Paul Ryan, is it time uh, if this thing collapses for him to go? I'll give him a few other chances. If this thing collapses tonight, it'll be a big win for Republicans. If it passes and becomes law, it's going to be horrible. I'd give him a chance next week. Let's let's go home and come back and work on this next week or the week after that. There's there's more than one bite at the apple. This premise that it has to happen today because it's the anniversary, the seven-year anniversary of Obamacare, that's ridiculous. We're talking about a sixth of our economy. Let's slow this down and get the process right.